ecosystem is a collective term for the wide variety of plant and animal organisms. Plant organisms are called phytoplankton, which produce nutrients by photosynthesis. And animal organisms are called zooplankton, which eat other organisms to grow up. Since plankton are organisms which drift freely in water, all floating and drifting animals such as jellyfish and fish larvae are classified as zooplankton. They are often microscopic in size, yet they have the heart, eyes, and appendages like hands. As they grow up, they take off their shell because it's too small. Similar to when you get rid of the clothes you cannot wear anymore. Although zooplankton cannot swim against water currents, they have an amazing swimming ability. Do you know what the fastest animals on the earth are? Actually, the answer is copepods. Copepods can move 500 body lengths within less than one second. If cheetahs were the same size as copepods, the swimming speed of copepods would be 30 times faster than the speed of cheetahs. One of our major food sources Fish eat this zooplankton, and zooplankton in turn eat phytoplankton. In the food chains of nature, zooplankton is the link between primary producers and secondary consumers. If there were no zooplankton, we would not only lose seafood, but also the ecosystem could be destroyed. So, what is zooplankton's life like? First, how do they find and eat food? This is showing that a copepod makes a feeding current to eat phytoplankton. You can see the feeding current as a cloud. How can they find food? Copepods receive chemical cues from food source. Once they find their food, copepods generate water currents so that the water containing food comes to the mouth part of the copepods. Then copepods eat the food using their appendages, like you use a knife and forks. This copepod is chewing only edible parts while the other parts are thrown away. In nature, besides eating food, there is a risk of being a food for predators. So they have to have some tactics to escape from their predators. Most definitely can escape from their predators by big vertical jumps so that Daphne can disappear from the fish's vision right away. If Daphne spin in front of fish, there is no way for fish to capture the spinning Daphne. Daphne can also pretend to be dead and fish lose interest in the dead prey. Interestingly, when they smell fish or other predators, some Daphne can form spines like armor after the next molt or in the next generation. One more important behavior of zooplankton is keeping their populations. This is how Daphne give birth. Here, 
Baby Daphnia are coming out from the birth chamber of the mother's back. Like human beings, baby Daphnia already have almost the same appearance as their mother. Do you know what the mother of this baby zooplankton is? It is carpet bug. The way they swim is very similar, but how they look is very different. In order to have offspring, zooplankton first have to find their mates in 3D environments. One group of copepods find their mates by detecting footprints which females leave. This behavior is seen in one Daphnia species as well. As you have seen, zooplankton are not only drifting as their definition implies, but also they have a variety of behaviors. In other words, zooplankton have the same behaviors as other animals on Earth. However, most zooplankton live in such a small world that you need special equipment to observe them. But their tiny world exists in your oceans, lakes, and ponds. Next time you swim there, just remember there is a micro world around you.